Welcome back. In this lesson, I just wanted to show you really quickly that every single window in your Blender user interface can be changed and updated. So what I mean by that, if you look in the top left of pretty much every single box here, you've got these little drop downs that can be changed. So we're not going to do it too much, but I just wanted you to be aware that you can change you know, if you wanted this to be your timeline up here, you can find the timeline. And then if you wanted this down here to be your 3D viewport, you know, you can totally change it up depending on whatever works for your preference. Um, same thing goes up here. If you wanted to change this to something else, um, you know, if you wanted your properties up here and you wanted your uh, your outliner down here, that's totally up to you. It's It's completely adjustable. And that's what's really cool about Blender is that you can do this. So the challenge for this video is just play around with this. Don't be scared. Just play around, you know, just try and do what I'm doing here. Just kind of switch it back because I just want you to know, like, if you're ever doing something, you can always flip flop these into whatever you need it to be. And it's very, very powerful. So I just reset it to the original. So that's the first challenge. Just go ahead and try that. Next challenge I want you to do is um, make a new window. So there's a few ways you can do this. You can kind of go to where your mouse turns into this little uh, up and down arrow and you can right click and say uh, vertical or horizontal split. I'm gonna do horizontal and notice it's kind of making this new line appear and that's where it's gonna split the window. I can also hit tab and change the direction if I want to. Let's just leave it horizontal and go ahead and click and that will confirm. Looky there, we've got another window. We can hit T and N to get these little guys to go away, you know, kind of clean it up there. But say if we wanted to make even more windows, there's another way you can do it. You can go into the top right corner or bottom corner of any window and your mouse will turn to like this little crosshair. See how it's turned to a little crosshair there? Once you get that crosshair, you can click. So that's a left click and drag, and I'm just dragging out a window. And sometimes it does take some practice to get it, uh, but now you should have two windows right there. We can do the same thing here, just click and drag. And notice I accidentally got it on the, you know, the downward motion, so it's trying to split it there. So I can just, you know, let go to confirm that. But let's say, oh, I didn't really want it to do that. You know, I wanted it to split differently. You can do the same thing, just put your, your little crosshair right there, and instead click and drag up. And notice there's an arrow here now. I can even do down or up. So I'm gonna drag it up and whichever one is darker, this is the darker one, it's going to collapse or disappear. So watch when I let go. So go ahead and let go, bloop. And now it'll take that away. So that's how you can make different windows. And the challenge for you is to get uh, four different viewports here. And just kind of click and drag. And I want you to get something like this. So go ahead and pause the video and try that. And then um, you know resume the video once you're done. All right, welcome back. So hopefully you've got it uh, like this. Now I want you to collapse these. So just click on the little edge there and collapse these windows and maybe do this one here. Just collapse that and try that. And then you can also do the same thing here. Just click and drag up or down. And you know, so if we wanted to erase the bottom one here, I could click and drag down, boom, and there we go. So that is w easy window customization. I want you to try and collapse all those and get everything back to normal here. Um, and that's just how you can manipulate or change your views to be however you want it to look. Um, so I just leave it exactly how Blender, you know, how it kind of is set up, just with the timeline down here and the and the outliner and the properties here. Uh, so that's how we're going to rock for the rest of the course here. Another cool tip: um, instead of trying to drag out different windows all the time, you can do Control Shift Q, and that will just toggle a quad view in the different user perspective. So that is very, very helpful. So just again, control alt Q and that will toggle uh, quad view if you ever need that. And that is also on the PDF shortcuts list um, if you ever forget. So that's all for this video. Let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we're going to start turning on some add-ons and getting some really cool, free, powerful tools that you can use to help you become an amazing 3D print designer. Let's get on it.